He went out of Jericho with his disciples and a great multitude, blind Bartimaeus, the son of Timaeus, sat by the road begging. When he heard that it was Jesus of Nazareth, he began to cry out and say, Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me. Then many warned him to be quiet, but he cried out all the more. Son of David, have mercy on me. So Jesus stood still and commanded him to be called. Then they called the blind man, saying to him, Be of good cheer, rise, he is calling you. And throwing aside his garment, he rose and came to Jesus. So Jesus answered and said to him, What do you want me to do for you? The blind man said to him, Rabboni, that I may receive my sight. Then Jesus said to him, Go your way, your faith has made you well. And immediately he received his sight and followed Jesus on the road. Praise be to God in the reading of his word. Amen. Uh, do you have an idea what are we going with our text today? But uh, before I go to our title, Kanina, nag, nag, nagsayaw tayo ng ano, Wincy 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 Tyler. I I know that by Wincy Wincy, you know, uh, it's a lot of ver uh, version. But you going on that uh, uh, on that uh, things that we do this morning. I think all of you also know about the three blind minds. Three blind minds, di ba? Ano yung na uh, ibinibigay sa historia? sa 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 rhyme na yon no yung mga bata pa tayo yun yung mga mga tinuturo sa atin sa english di ba yung uh, mother goose uh, about the hen but i will focus on the three blind mice what does it tells us about the three blind mice the blind showing the way to the other blind that's what's the story about di ba but uh, Looking further on that uh, on that story, in fact, they're more blessed because those three blind can even walk and go to their ways, compared to those who have sight but they don't know their way. Diba? So allow me to stand before you today and remind every one of us, that's including me and you as the followers of Christ that you and I should walk by faith. Diba? We should walk by faith. Kaya nga ang title ng ating study for today is Walk by Faith, Not by Sight. Dami sa ating mga Kristiyano, we just keep on walking, but without faith. But we keep on looking, but, but we are blind. Right? So, the same word was written in 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 7, di ba? Sabi doon, for we walk by faith, not by sight. So, what does it mean to walk by faith and not by sight? You know, it means to keep moving even if you don't know where you are going. Ang hirap ata, no, brother Den? Going and going without knowing where we're going, di ba? 
Kaya nga sabi ni Martin Luther King uh, Jr., sabi niya, Faith is taking the first step even when you don't see the whole staircase. Diba? You know, those are some of the truest words I, that I have ever heard. In this way, mga kapatid, walk by faith, not by sight, means even though you might not be able to see where you are going, you keep on moving. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, as we continue with our uh, study today, your word, allow Father, your servant, to be your voice. Use me, O oh God. Use my mouth, Lord, as your mouthpiece. Allow, Lord, that uh, your word only be heard on this place, O oh God, and not the flesh coming from your servant. Father, give us uh, the spiritual hearing, O oh Lord, and allow us, Father, to, to have that uh, spiritual wisdom as well so that we will uh, truly understand what you are saying and what you are conversing to us in this place today. Thank you, Father, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. But before I continue, did you remember what we have uh, talked about last week? Kasi karamihan sa atin, pagka natapos na yung service, pag nabas tayo, nagusog tayo, kumain tayo ng lunch, Pagdating ng hapon, alam pa natin, pag natin sa amo, may problema, pag nilinis, kinabukasan mo, gigising, nakalimutan na. Di ba? You know? We are all reminded to have faith and stop with all the excuses and start to work out our salvation and keep the engine going. No? Sinabi ko nga eh, Hintayin nyo pa ba na nagwala yung buhay mo bago ka, bago ka kikilos? Hintayin mo pa ba na malulungko ka bago ka maglalakad? Hintayin mo pa ba na mapipig ka bago ka magsalita ng, magsalita ng Panginoon? No? You know, some of you might be wondering why I choose the text, uh, the book of Mark chapter 10 verse 46 to uh, 52, no? Rather than 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 7. Bakit kaya hindi nang pinili ni Brother Ben? Pwede naman, diretso na lang. Pag sinabi yung Corinthians 5, 7, yun na yung title, yun na rin yung text, di ba? But you know, it surely our title agrees to the 2 Corinthians chapter 5 to 7, but I guess our text today from the book of Mark would be fit to sample the application that the second Corinthians chapter 5 verse 7 in the life of Bartholomew uh, or Bartimaeus. The, the Bartimaeus is the blind who could see better than those who have sight. You know, they say that there is no one as blind as he who will not see. Have you even tried to walk without using your eyes? Ang hirap, di ba? I suppose that is true for there are many people walking around in this world today that we have seen, we can see, you know, they, they work just fine. Yet, they cannot seem to see the way that they are living their lives. And it, it eventually, it will lead them to eternal damnation. So, yung yung uh, sharing ni ng ni kapatid kanina yung uh, sa life niya eh. after the loss of a child and she just realized that mali yung ginagawa niya di ba so though they are blinded on the ways of sin that they've done at the end of the day the lord has an encounter with that person and changed her from the old person that she was to the new person that she is today. Ayan, in the text today, we are presented with a man who was absolutely blind. Wala talaga siyang uh, uh, paningin. Si Bartimaeus could see nothing with the physical eyes with which he had been born. Yet, he could see things on a spiritual level that others were blind to. See, this man uh, was blind physically, but he had a 20-20 spiritual vision. Yes, as I look to over uh, every one of you today, 
lovely people of God. Amen. I myself, mga kapatid, I am reminded again of the truth that not everyone who came here today can see. Yes, our eyes will work fine or working fine. You didn't have to rely on a white cone or a, a guide dog, right? You don't have to, uh, or someone with a vision to assist you when you walk. However, mga kapatid, there are those among us that simply cannot see. I'm not judging you, but allow the Lord to speak to your hearts. No? Though they can see the world around them, but they cannot see the truth of God's love and plan for their lives. You see, bakit? Bakit ba nila hindi nila nakikita? You know, they are still trying to find excuses. Or they lack faith and are blinded spiritually. 